to the rebound now, and summer is, of course, a time for backyard barbecues and burgers. But this year, during this pandemic, some families could be faced with a tighter food budget. So in tonight's Rebound Report, NBC26's Matt Jarko shows us how to shop for foods that can taste great and save you money. Every grocery adds a little bit, but that doesn't mean the price you pay at the store has to add up to a lot. Absolutely, absolutely. Sue Rouse is the Festival Foods customer service lead, and she talked us through several strategies you can use to shop on a budget. One of the best is to go meatless for one or two meals because we know that a trip to the meat counter can often cost a little bit more. Even without the meat, there are a lot of ways to still get the protein. Beans and nuts and eggs and probably the best one is cans of tuna. They go a long way, they're packed with protein, and literally speaking, you can make mac and cheese, you can make tuna melts, um, tuna helper. If you're more into fruits and vegetables, you can save in produce too. Fresh fruits and vegetables or produce when they're in season. Anytime that they're in season, you're gonna have a better opportunity to get the best cost. Right now, that includes a lot of berries and melons. And another way to fill up your pantry is to simply buy what's on sale. You can find all sorts of deals on weekly ads, daily specials, or different types of coupons. If you shop the ads, you're gonna save a lot of money. And as you do all of that shopping, keep in mind some ingredients can go a long way. A great one is eggs. Eggs can be a main meal, and it can also be something that you add to a meal. Others include beans and pastas, which can be used in different ways from one meal to the next. It tastes delicious. And it's all budget friendly. Matt Jarko, NBC 26. And just in time for dinner time, right? So to recap some of those money saving ideas, if you do normally eat meat, consider replacing some of those meals with other good sources of protein that can cost less. Also, use ads and coupons to your advantage. And also, maybe shop less often. Fewer trips to the store can help you use more of what's already at home and maybe reduce the opportunities for those impulse buys.